Hey everyone, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. I have a big old box of stuff and unfortunately my daughter commandeered my box. <laughs> so I can't show you, but the box of stuff is all my FabFit fun stuff. So I got my big old box, which I'll do a separate video for the summer box. Um, and then all my add-on stuff, uh, which is this video and I um, kind of just want to go over these and then obviously some of these I will get into other videos more in depth so as you can see I bought a lot of stuff um, including I did do a mystery bundle this time um, so for anyone who's interested my mystery bundle number is MYS001 and it says that it is the summer mystery bundle domestic so people on the uh, FabFitFun forums like to follow the mystery bundles. So I'm going to just go through these. I unfortunately don't have the prices um, of some of these things. Um, so I'm not going to be able to go into all the detail of it. I have had a fairly crazy week. Actually, all my weeks are crazy. I don't know why I say a <laughs> fairly crazy week. So I tend to like to do a little bit more research before these videos, but I have so many beauty boxes coming in because mid-month is when they all come in. So I have uh, a glossy box coming in. I just have, I, I have a um, birch box, an Ipsy. Um, I just did my Target video. I have, uh, I just got my FabFitFun. What else? Boxy charm, and then on top of that, um, I have a few things that I have ordered. Um, so, which I'll do on another video. Like I just did a whole big thing uh, of tart stuff because it doesn't sell. So I'm gonna go over those in a different video, different time, and kind of release them throughout the week. And then I did an Ulta haul as well. So I have so many videos to do that I figured I'd just get down to the nitty gritty. And then on those off times when I'm not getting like a bazillion boxes at once, I can go do back and do um, a little better reviews of some of the products like I did with the edit cell. So um, let's just start and go through it. So I put everything in a gigantic bag and I'll go over this bag as well, but this is all my edit cell stuff. So the first, or not edit cell, sorry. Sorry guys, I'm losing it again. Um, the first thing is this, uh, when you are an annual member of FabFitFun, which I am, um, you get the option to customize your box. And on top of that, if you like something, so for example, the summertime, you could get a towel or a train case, or there were two train cases to pick from, or you know, two different beauty samples of something. If you want that extra, it's $10 more. And so I do have um, two items that I wanted from the box that I didn't pick as my main thing, but I paid $10 more for. So the first one was this train case, okay? And it is the uh, Yum Kim train case. And I picked the, oh, I forget what they called it. Let's see if they have it on here. It is the, uh, periwinkle flora makeup trained case so it came in um, and it is interesting because you open it up and there's this cute little card here from Yum Kim and FabFitFun it says gift for you for $50 so enjoy $50 off your $200 purchase um, and this goes through December and you just have to use the code FabFitFun50 and this is on the actual website so that was cool you open it up and that was in there. And so this is a cool case for like traveling and I'm, I'm really excited about this because it has lots of little pockets at the top here and then a place where you can put like your makeup brushes and everything and this is the flat part on top. And then the uh, middle section here is where you put like your palettes and your bigger stuff and it's just big there. Now the one thing that I was not anticipating and I guess I just didn't look really closely at the um, pictures of it and and this comes with um anytime you buy stuff online and you haven't really felt it in person is it's i don't know if you can tell it's a real vinyl-y material for some reason in my mind when i saw this i thought it was going to be more fabricy. um so that's it looks a little less fancy because it's not fabricy, but and I'm, on that hand but I actually do think that this will wear and tear better because it's that vinyl material that you can wipe off so it'll stay cleaner but in my mind I was thinking okay it's gonna be like a fabric print I don't I don't know why <laughs> but it is super cute I am very happy with this so this was a $10 add-on to my uh, original one um, so that is that 
I'm gonna try to move right along because I got off work. It is midnight. I need to go to sleep because the baby will wake up. So if I'm kind of rushing through it and you want to see a particular item in depth more, please um, comment below and let me know. So on and upwards, my other item that I wanted to get, and I'm not going to tell you guys what I got in my actual box until you see my unboxing video um, because I've, I don't know, I, I just feel like not telling. But I got the um, TARDIS Pro Glow Highlighter, what is this, the Highlighter and Contour Palette Kit. Um, and it is really, really, really pretty here. So you can see it's got one, two, three, four, five, six uh, stage, uh, things here. I can't talk. I didn't even have a bad work day or a long work day. I just can't talk. So you can see this is the strobe color. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit here. It is beautiful. Um, you can see Stunner. That is really stunning. As you can see right there. Really, really pretty. Um, and then Fire. This is probably a little bit darker um, for me. Maybe as a contour color. Um, and then they have Sculpt here. Which you can see here. Um, so I am... I'm definitely gonna play with this. Um, and then this this kind of creamy one. I don't I don't know what to think about that one yet. Um, it smells like cupcakes and chocolate. It has two cute little mirrors, and uh, it's really pretty. So I'm super excited. Everybody has just said wonderful things. I have the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Sculpture Kit, which I absolutely love. Um, and so I am really, really excited about this and trying this out. I have just, I've been really into Tarte products recently. I just really, really like them. Um, they work well and they're, you know, I don't know. I just like them. So anyway, that is that. So I'm going to play around with this, but I think this is fantastic. All right, upward and onward. So we have the Aki Lux Hair Turban. So in the, um... My first box was the spring edit box. I did not get the the regular box, but in it was the option for a hair turban, and or I guess it was the hair towel, and it was the um, concepts. I can't remember the name. It was the other one. So they had this one and uh, the Aki hair turban and the other one, and so I decided to get this one because I love my hair towel. Love that it wraps it up and then it dries my hair super fast. Um, so this is, I got this one because um, I think it was like a dollar cheaper than the other one. And it says that it is supposed to be super absorbent, ultra soft, and it's supposed to gently dry hair fast without frizzing, less blow driving, which helps reduce uh, frizz and breakage. And I can tell you from experience with my other one that actually it really does help. So I thought this was interesting when I was opening it up they um, give you this little thing and on here it says remember to reuse me in your hair so this is the little orange hair tie which I thought was kind of cute that they they threw that in um, so as you can see this is the uh, diagram of what you're supposed to do and this one is a different material than the other co is it collective concepts this is the hair turban you can see it it's really long and I have really long hair. You can't really tell today because I have it up in a bun, but it's really long. So I'm excited because my other one um, can be a bit of a stretch to put on my hair. But you can see like this has tons and tons and tons of space if you have really long hair. And there's a little um, button in the back. And so, yeah, that is super good. It's soft. I think I'm going to probably like this one better just because it's so much bigger and um, it feels more lightweight. So I am, I'll have to let you guys know which one I think is better, but I'm already kind of liking this one a little bit better. So that's that. All right, onward and upward, folks. Ooh, I got this all tangled. So this is the, if I can get this up here. Let me fix this here. I did get some jewelry. Um, I do like jewelry, and uh, I had heard eh, things about some of the AJ Love stuff, but the eight other reasons everyone had said good things. So I got this eight other reasons. Let me see if I can find it on here. Uh, this is the Fab Laureate and Solar. I just think this is really pretty. It's just 
Um, it's got like these little silvery reflecty. I'll just pull it off here. Um, if you can see here, it's just a little, little silvery reflecty, and it is adjustable. So like they have it really short here. Let's see if I can pull this out longer. Um, so you can do it out longer. So it looks really pretty, I think. Lightweight. We'll see how it wears and tears, but that's that's cute. I love I love little necklaces and little rings and little earrings. Um, so this is something I actually could see myself wearing. It's just very simple. Um, so this is. It, it's kind of cute because on the back here they gave you like little little things. It says, "Love me unconditionally, gentle. I'm very delicate." Um, I can't swim and perfumes no thanks so I wonder if perfumes discolor these and then keeps me safe at night i.e. don't go to sleep which I could I could believe this you wouldn't want to fall asleep on this this would get messed up it is very delicate so this is super cute so that's that let's see what we have next so I decided to buy this this is the right here this is the philosophy fit light six week weight loss journal so it's so funny when i first saw this i was like who is gonna buy this and then um i was on the the message boards and everyone's like oh my god this thing is great it helps you out like and it had sold out and so i sat there and i refreshed and refreshed and refreshed trying to get in the bum bum cream because i had never tried the bum bum cream i did not get the bum bum cream but I did get this, and it was $5, and I figured, hey, if it sucks for 5 bucks, oh well. So I already opened it up, but on the, I'm going to show you the packaging on the outside here. It is a six-week fitness journal plus free ebook, and I didn't realize that it had a free ebook here. And it says that it includes meal plan, recipes, tips, workout plan, guide, and more. And it has a free three-day kickstart ebook with purchase. And so apparently that's a $19.95 value. So... It says, kickstart your goals, four small tweaks to lose five pounds in six weeks. So I am going to start trying to get healthy again because um, yeah, it's that time. I'm seven months postpartum, so it's time to start trying to get myself back into the shape I was before. But uh, they talk about, they have like the little tweak tips in here. And you're supposed to check off things and then... Like, just all the little guys. I, I am, like, a big planner. I love checking off lists. I like making lists. I like writing things. And this is little, cute, and small. So, I think this is super-duper fun. Um, oh, and I didn't even notice that. 20% off your nest fix. They have coupons in the back. Um, free setup for custom fit books. You can make a, a fit book for your yourself you can buy that and they have nutritional tools so that's really cool um, and then they have apparently social media and everything so I'm gonna see I'll have to um, start doing this and maybe track it and do a whole video on what I thought about this I also need to try out that um, if it's still good the is it glossy box yeah glossy box like two months ago or a month ago sent a membership to a free like month long to one of the exercise things so maybe i'll try that and this and get back with you guys and tell you what i think um and maybe start a series on like health stuff you know working out getting healthy for the busy working person who mom or otherwise who just doesn't have a lot of time to incorporate going to the gym i don't know about you guys but it's hard for me to get to the gym Actually, I never go to the gym, so I can barely, I can barely feed and bathe some days. All right, so you guys know I love my skincare, and so I was super duper interested in this, and so I got this in the beginning, and I just kept on to it. So this is called the Skinesque Brightening, Brighten, Balance, and Hydrate, and so it's a three-step process. It is a gentle foaming cleanser with papaya and apple extract. So the papaya should be like an exfoliant. Um, a hydra essence with sodium hyaluronidate, so um, that is supposed to help plump and boost your skin um, and like with fine lines. Uh, and then the final is a uh, brightening charcoal mask. And the charcoal mask has nicotinosinamide, which is supposed to reduce dark spots and dark circles. Um, and birch tree sap brightens complexion. I don't know if that's really true, but cool. 
Um, it's supposed to have sebum product uh, balance and hydrate. Anyway, it has like all the ingredients and what you're supposed to do on the back here. Um, there are five masks in here, and I didn't, I wasn't sure when I read that were like three little boxes or how this was going to go. But look at this, it has them all three in the same thing. So this is really cool. You you do the little cleanser. Then you do the little hyaluronic acid, and then you put the charcoal mask. And then it tells you exactly how to do it. So I think I'm going to do a video on this um, product later because I just think this is such a fun, neat little concept. So I'll let you guys know what I think um, on this. Like I said, this is a Skinesque Brightening Balance and Hydrate. So... That is that. All right. Next on, Dr. D. Schwa Flawless Skin Fluid. So this is this. And this is another item that I kind of like passed over originally. And then everybody talked about how great it was. And I was like, I have to get it. <laughs> click, 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 click. Oh, I finally got it. So it was five bucks as well. So I know I'm, I'm a bit ridiculous, but I think it's kind of fun. So this is... Um, made in the USA in San Diego and I don't, I've never really tried these um, Dr. Schwab products um, but this is supposed to be organic um, not tested on animals so it's cruelty free and you're supposed to use it daily as a moisturizer or a quick radiance to your skin so after cleansing toning you put it on so this is what it looks like it doesn't you know like when you look at the packaging, you're like, oh, this is kind of eh. But I will have to say, I've tried this out a little bit, and um, I was pleasantly surprised about this. So it has just like a nice clean scent to it. And then I'll show you, see, that's what it looks like. So it just smells kind of like fresh laundry. And it has a um, definite like, you can see here, I'm rubbing in it, it almost gives you like a nice little shiny boost. Like a radiance like that is actually kind of cool it smells really good it smells clean like I like I said it smells like soap and it just has that sheen now it is on a little bit whitier um, sheen so I think for darker skin tones I'm not sure that this would be a really good thing like it may almost look a little white on you but for my pasty pale skin I think it looks really cool um, it kind of reminds me of the um, glam glow has this lotion with kind of a, a shimmer to it as well although that smells like sherbet but this is what it kind of reminds me of so for five bucks and i forget what the retail of this is it's not much more it's not like crazy expensive it's kind of a nice alternative to the really super expensive glam glow um so i like this i am super excited to use this and in the summer when you just kind of want a healthy glow that's kind of a nice face lotion all right, moving on. Um, so next thing, again, are my... Um, I'm going to open these up because I hadn't gotten into these. So I got the black eye mask with hyaluronic acid. So I have um, a couple eye masks that I've been using. Um, I can't think of my one that I really like that I was using. I, had, I did another video on it, but I've been using the... Um, I'll think of it later. But uh, other like hydrogel mask, and then I've been using like the the papery ones from Sephora from my sheets holy sheets package thing that I did a video on. So um, this is supposed to doesn't really say. Anyway, um, this is supposed to be an Australian brand, um, which I've heard kind of mixed reviews, and when I watched a couple videos and things on it people were kind of like mixed on this but I figured it was not a bad deal um, for these eye masks and eye masks in general are super expensive so this is what they look like I'm not going to break into it today but it, it, you can feel it's like a little tray in here and um, basically you're supposed to apply it and let it sit for probably a, yeah 10 to 15 minutes and then they say to get best effect use for two weeks. So there's five in here. So I'll give it a try and I'll probably do a video on these and see what I think. Um, or maybe even better yet, I'll probably do a video on all my favorite eye 
ones and compare them and give you the what's good, what's not, and see where these fall in here. So um, these are supposed to have hyaluronic acid. I see bamboo charcoal and a bunch of words of products and chemicals that I don't know. It is not fragrance free, so it does have fragrance. And they are made in China, so that means that these are not cruelty free for those that care about that. Um, I think that's about it. So that's that. I'll try those out. All right, moving along here. So I decided to buy this. This is the um, Tarte Lip Sculptor, and this is in the color Candid. I kept seeing this, and I was like, oh, I can't find the color, but I'll just try it out. Now this is a lot lighter than I was thinking, and um, I was a little sad when I opened it up and realized that, that this color is super duper light. Um, so it is definitely a peachy uh, nude, which is what they said, but I don't know, for in my mind I thought it was going to be slightly less nude. Um, and then that's your applicator, so it's got a lip gloss side and a um, lipstick side. And the lip gloss side is pretty sheer. So I don't know if I'm going to use a lipstick part of it. The lip gloss though, I do like that it's more sheer, and so this would be a good like neutral, but it is awfully, awfully light. So I'll have to let you guys know. I've had mixed luck with the Tarte lipsticks, but I wanted to try these out because these had just awesome reviews. Um, so this is supposed to have Maracuja, Coconut, and Vitamin E in it. Um, so we'll see. Okay, this I'm going to save for last. Okay. This is the Pure Lease Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. I'm not going to open this up because I still have some cleanser I'm still working on. Um, and then, so I don't want to open this up and have to use it up quicker because it says it's, well, I'll probably get through it before 18 months. But um, this has got really good reviews. It's a cleansing skin, removes makeup, tones, blah, 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 blah. So I like cleansing um, lotions and cleansing milk. Uh, for my drier skin, I find that they work really good. So this apparently, the Blue Lotus, is supposed to it's supposed to have Blue Lotus, white tea, soy milk, and whole oat. And it's supposed to be just really soothing and stuff. So that's what it looks like. I'll have to get back with you guys and let you know. But I'm not going to open this up or test it out right now. Because I just, I want to get through what I have before I open this up. Um, but I'm always on the lookout for a good lotion. So that's that. And then... The other thing I'm not going to open up today, because again, I have other things that I'm going to use up first, is this Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingling Exfoliant. Now, I forget which, I think it was the white one. These, so each of the Glam Glows come in like different colors and they do different things. And I don't have the black one. I had a different one that came like, Sephora does your little gifts for birthday and one of them was the Glam Glow with the little... Um, the lotion that has the like stuff in it that I was talking about earlier and a, one of the little glam glow. I think it was either purple or white. I can't remember which one it was. And uh, I put that on and oh gosh, it tingled. It was a little bit uncomfortable and made my face red, but it did smooth my skin nicely. So um, I don't remember which one that is, but I got this one because I figured I'd give one more solid try for a different Glam Glow mask and see because um, people just swear by them and I do like Glam Glow products but um, this is the Youth Mud so this one is supposed to I think exfoliate and brighten but I'm not sure so this is a little I mean how much is this I can't even sorry guys hold on one second let me figure this out uh, it doesn't even say. It's all in other languages. Yeah. I love it. They put this whole thing in here, and I'm like, oh, it's going to explain what it is. And it just says that it has the ingredients. All right. Oops, throwing it. Okay. So basically, oh, here it is. Uh, thin layer, tingles, 10 minutes, desire, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I'll have to do more, and then I'm going to do a whole video on multiple different m mass types. So I'll do like a 
face sheet mask because I've tried like 20 different brands and then I'll have to do like exfoliating masks and maybe mud mask and kind of do my top five and favorite and top five ones that I didn't care for so I will try this out later and let you know I'm not going to open it up for now though okay so we're getting towards the end of my list here so this is um, one that I was super excited about. I love Mira products. Um, and this is, I guess, supposed to be, there's a little two and three. This is the Rapid Collagen Infusion. I guess there's like multi-steps. There was an exfoliant I ended up not buying. Um, but they say that you can use this AM and PM over your face and your neck. And people just swore by this. They said, oh, it fills in all those little lines and everything. And I find this interesting. And this is just me having like a random aside, but it has the little like seal here. I guess so you know it's a genuine product, but they don't have it on the bottom. So yay, the box is genuine, but who knows if the product is genuine. Not that I'm worried about it, but this is what it looks like. Um, this is kind of cool because it's in a pump here. And um, let's see if it says any like what's in here. It has a bunch of stuff that I don't know what it is. Um, apparently some fruit extracts and some olive oil and other stuff. Lavender oil, so lots of things in there. Some of that stuff I know is uh, very sensitive on certain people's skin. So I'm going to just put a little bit on my arm here. I do like that it's a little pump action. And it goes on really smoothly. I mean, you're not going to be able to see it real well here. It feels very silky. And it doesn't have like a strong smell one way or another. It just kind of has a clean smell. So I'm going to start trying this out because I am due for a new nighttime lotion. So I'm going to probably add this to my nighttime routine and see what I think. Um, okay, guys. One... Not one more. We're getting we're getting towards the bottom of it. So this is the next thing I got. This is the Sheer Wisdom um, Serum Shadow by Butter London. And this is in Mauve Mist. And I will tell you, I thought this was going to be more mauve than it is, but it is... It is not. It's more tan. If you can see here. Like, it's not really mauve at all. Like, I'm not sure who they thought this was mod, but mauve but it's not so it almost looks like a lip gloss applicator it's got that typical lip gloss application I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand so you can see um, so there it is on there and I'm gonna dry it down here and see um, but it does this is I thought this was really cool so the whole point of this is it's supposed to like Go on like a, a liquid and then dry out powdery and then it's supposed to smooth out your eyes so that you don't have wrinkles. And I don't know if, I mean, at least for me, I have dry skin and I have to be really careful what I put on my eyes because what I found is that if I use certain primers, it actually makes my eyes look wrinkly and old and crappy. Um, and so uh, for one, like the Ulta Matte Primer, does that so I actually have to use like a more oil based or like a thicker hydrating primer to be able to um, not look creasy uh, so this is supposed to kind of be like a, a serum on there to make your eyes more moisturized on top of that at least that's kind of the gist I got from from reading it it doesn't really say on here, but that's kind of what they were explaining on the website. So here it is. It's dried down here. And, um, sorry, trying to get over here so you can see it better. And it's very, like, powdery now. That's really cool. It's, like, super powdery and matte now. And soft. Like, it's not like uh, some liquid eyeshadows that tend to look like sticky or matty. That's, you know, it is a brown color. I wish it was more mauve -y. But that's, that's not bad. So, we'll see. All right, so everybody raved about this stuff. This is Cocoa Floss Delicious Mint. This is 32 yards. I just decided to go ahead and get the, the mint. I think this was $5. 
Um, and this is made in San Mateo, California. It's supposed to be cruelty free and vegan free. And the whole idea of this is it, it lasts a lot longer. So they're saying this is a three month supply, I think is what I was reading on it. Or two month, I don't know. It says somewhere how many long it is. So that's what it looks like. And um, I did play around with this already because it's just such a cool concept, but it's super thick. I mean, I know I'm showing you guys that, but it smells minty. Uh, uh, it, if you've got teeth that are really tight together, it will get caught, but that feels so good. So I'm going to give this a good long try and see, and if this um, works as well as everyone says. I'm super excited. The other cool thing about it, which I like, because a lot of times when you get floss, you're like getting it, and then you get your last piece, and you're like, oh, I didn't know I was out of floss. Now I have no floss. It actually tells you how much time you have left. So you have like 60 days, 30 days, two weeks, and floss party. So that's really cool. So I'm going to give this a good try, and if I like it, I may buy more of that on the next um, edit sale. So, Alright, so I did buy a Ish Bundle, because I do like my Ish Bundles. And I got the Ish Bundle Lip Bundle in Pink. Uh, let me see if they specifically say what it was. Ish Pink Lip Trio Bundle. And... Um, so it came with this little pencil sharpener, which I, I could always use a pencil sharpener. Oh, where did the little part go? And then this is interesting, and maybe some of you guys can chime in to what this is. I think this is down right here. There's that little plastic thing, and what I think it is for, but I could be completely wrong, is I think it's meant to basically clean this out so you don't have to stick your fingers in there but I'm not sure um, so anyway that is there and then um, it does have a lid so that you can open and close it so little pencil sharpener then it comes with the ish lip crayon and I think it's the color kiss yeah color kiss no, have I gotten into this? Okay, let me get into this. Sorry. I got these like two days ago, and I haven't really played around with a lot of these. So this is the, the color. So it is a pinky color, which actually matches. You'll see I have a swatch of my Target lip gloss from earlier the other day. It actually matches that almost perfectly. Um... This is interesting because I've had other pencils that have this kind of like plasticky coat. So I'm going to have to see how that does with the pencil sharpener. But at least, you know, you can use it with a pencil sharpener. So that's that. And then it comes with the Hydro Gloss. Now, I feel really dumb. So when I first got this, it looked like this. And I was like, oh, cool. It has a lipstick on one side and then a gloss on the other kind of like I don't know when I, I saw it online that's what I was thinking I was like oh it has that kind of like the lip sculptor I was like what a cool concept no this side is not a lipstick 